Welcome back to today's Photo Minute. My name is Brian Osborne from the Photo Classroom. And this is uh, the weekend is coming up, so we call this the weekend edition, which we call Shoot and Share. It's a great opportunity for us to get out with our cameras. Uh, maybe we haven't had time throughout the week to do as much photography as we'd like to. So we can get out with our cameras, do some shooting along some challenge themes that we've been uh, presenting every week. And, uh, and then sharing some of those pictures for those that are willing on our Facebook page uh, as well so that we can uh, kind of learn and see uh, what uh, each other are creating. Um, the two challenges I had for this week, one is artistic and one's technical. And uh, you may be able to, able to find a way to combine both of those. That'd be even fun too. Uh, the artistic one, I'm going to call patterns in nature. Uh, anything that's natural in, in, in its uh, essence it would be great to see how uh, you can find different patterns and photograph that pattern to make a really dynamic image. So uh, I, I have a few ideas going through my mind, but just be looking for stuff, patterns in nature, um, and uh, see what you can come up with. It'd be really neat to, uh, to see some of the creativity come out in that aspect. The second one is going to be our technical one, and we're going to work with uh, white balance as well. You know, we've been talking about it this week. And I just think it's a great opportunity for us to put it even more into action and into practice as well. So it would be fun to find a subject in the shade. That could be anything. It could be a portrait. It add to some of the things that we uh, did some sessions about this week. Um, and uh, try to different white balances. Auto white balance. Um, uh, cloudy white balance. Shade white balance. Those are the presets. Those are some of the ones that the camera just sets up for us as defaults. And then uh, for those of you that feel really comfortable with that, uh, if your camera has a Kelvin white balance mode, a K white balance mode, then go ahead and try some different Kelvin numbers. So you might try 55 and 6,000 and 65 and 7,000 degree, degrees of Kelvin temperature and see which effect you like the best. What would be great when you share those images, especially for the uh, white balance examples, is share a couple different uh, white balance settings with the same subject matter and then uh, make sure to tell us which one you think has the most accurate color or the most pleasing color or the color that you really wanted to convey in the images that you were taking uh, pictures of. Uh, so two challenges, one is patterns in nature, the other one is white balance. Two great things for us to all be working on this uh, weekend and it'll be fun to see everybody's images. Uh, you don't have to have them in by Sunday night. Uh, if it's Monday or Tuesday and you want to go ahead and then make a comment to the post and share those with everybody else, that'd be great. I know sometimes it's hard to kind of get everything ready and, and end by that time. But uh, most importantly, please get out there shooting, have some fun, continue learning, and then uh, be able to share some of those images with the rest of us uh, online as well. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the weather. My name is Brian Osborne.